How are you? Jack Scalfani here, and you are cooking with Jack. And it's time for another Lazy Man episode. One of our best series ever, and I haven't done one in a while, so it's going to be fun. Today's called Lazy Man Bread, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But first, I want to talk about some of the episodes coming up. We're going to be doing a Santa Maria style barbecue on the next episode. I'm going to get a real Santa Maria style barbecue. That's right, with the wheel that you crank, and it's gonna be really cool. I've never used it before, but I'm bringing in the expert who makes these and sells these barbecues, and we're gonna check it out, and we're gonna see if it's any good. We're gonna cook some tri-tip. It's gonna be awesome. Also, I'm trying to get you into a uh, place that makes beef jerky. We're gonna go take a field trip, and I'm gonna show you how beef jerky is made. And we're gonna do a breakfast episode called The Breakfast of Champions. That's gonna be fun. I have no idea what we're gonna do on that one. But you're gonna burn a few eggs, and pop a few waffles right out of the toaster. Who knows? But that's coming up too. And also we have another Lazy Man episode that I'm working on called Lazy Man Beverages. That's going to be fun because we've never done a, a beverage show yet. So hang in there. We got a whole spring load of uh, great episodes coming. It's going to take us right into summertime and then we hit all the barbecue episodes. It's going to be great. It's all exciting. Right now, let's get into the Lazy Man's bread. And the great thing about this is it takes 60 seconds to prepare. Now, that's what they claim on the internet. A guy read about this, and you should be able to prepare this in 60 seconds. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need four cups of flour. You're going to need one quarter teaspoon of dry yeast. You're going to need one tablespoon of salt. Okay. It's funny. I put white stuff in white bowls. You can't even see it. There it is. And then you're going to need also two cups of warm water. All right, now the beauty of this is uh, you just pop this yeast into that water. You dilute it, right? You mix the salt in with the flour, and then you put the balance in with the water. That's supposed to take 60 seconds, so let's try it out right now. I don't even know if I have a timer. Oh, yeah, I got a timer. Here we go. In fact, I'll put one on the screen for you guys to watch, too. Ready? Go. All right, I'm gonna dilute that. Dilute all the yeast in the water. Okay. <laughs> Says make sure it's all diluted. So, mixing it in good. All right, while that's going on, I'm dumping this in here, the salt and the flour together. And you know what? I'm gonna mix that in right there, get that all blended in. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see how that goes. Then we're going to put this in here, dump that in there, and we're going to mix that up. I got 40 seconds on the clock that I've, done, I've wasted so far. There we go. 20 seconds to make this. Come on. All right. And 54, 55. I'm shaking the whole table. Got to get it going. Oh, and... Done. 60 seconds. Whew. All right. Okay, well, there it is. The key is put a towel over that like that, and we're going to check this uh, between 8 and 12 hours, whichever time I wake up. And then we're going to put this in the oven for 25 minutes at 400 degrees, and we're going to cook it up. You're watching The Cooking with Jack Show. We'll be right back, right after this message. Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here to tell you about my line of sauces. It's called the best barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. It's so good, we made a hot one. There it is. If that's not good enough, we made the best teriyaki sauce you'll ever taste. Bam! And to make it even better, we just released the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Go to thebestsauces.com, 100% guarantee, we do free shipping anywhere in the United States. Go to thebestsauces.com, I'll be there waiting for you. And now, back to the Cooking with Jack show. Well, good morning. How are you? I hope you guys slept well. Ah, I feel pretty good. Got my cup of coffee here. Uh, bread's right here in the bowl. We've been letting it set all night. They say between 8 and 12 hours. Ah, I love mornings. They're awesome. Now, before we get in close and show you if the bread uh, doubled in size, it was supposed to double in size. So we'll take a peek at that in a moment. Some of my viewers said, hey, you know what? You never show your dog. I don't know why you guys want to see my dog, uh, but I'll show you my dog. I'll bring her in here. Uh, you saw my son. Eh, no big deal. And now you uh, uh, can see my dog. All right, come here. Cupcake. Cupcake, where are you? <whistles> Cupcake, come here. 
Come here, girl. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here, girl. Come on. Come here, baby. Oh, hold on a minute. Come here. Oh. All right. Where's my dog? Yep. She's. Oh, she's sitting on my mic. Don't sit on my mic, girl. There you go. Say hi to everybody. Hi. All right. Her name's Cupcake, and she is a full-blooded beagle. All right. Go, girl. Go on. Go. Go play. No, get down. No, you can't play with me now. Get down. You can't have any bread. Go. Out. Out. What up? Get out of the kitchen. Dad's trying to film. Go. Go lay down. All right. Now. Yeah. Sorry about that. Boy, that was a mistake. Okay, so we're good to go. Uh, one more sip of coffee, and then we're going to show you the bread. Mmm. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look and see if this thing doubled in size. Here we go. One, two. Oh, my goodness. Ho, oh, oh. Look at it. It did. It's kind of gooey, but that thing just blew up like twice the size. Look at that. All right, so let's put that on a cookie sheet, okay? First we're gonna do is butter, and then we're gonna flour the cookie sheet. Remember I told you guys just take a napkin and some butter and just butter the sheet, okay? Okay, so here we go. I got a, I got a spatula here. I'm kind of floured it a little bit. I'm gonna try and get this all out on the pan, okay? Here, here we go. Just kind of shape it, shape it into place. Put a little flour on your fingers so you don't catch it. There we go. We're just gonna leave it like that. Once again, this is a lazy man's bread, so it's just gonna bake like that. 400 degrees, 25 minutes. There's one more thing I wanna do before we uh, put this in the oven. I'm gonna do a couple of uh, uh, Italian seasonings. Starting off with a little thyme. Then I'm going to a little rosemary. Once again, you can do pepper, salt, whatever you wanna put on top here, rock salt. Doesn't matter, season the top of your bread however you want. Little oregano, this is beautiful. We'll see how that turns out. Have at it. All right, preheat your oven 400 degrees, 25 minutes. I'm gonna bring this back all beautiful and baked and we're gonna cut right into it. Okay, there it is. Oh, a nice, nice outer crust. I've gotta let it cool though. I can't, I can't cut this yet because it'll collapse but it's got a beautiful outer crust. Listen to this. Oh, it smells delicious. Let's see how it go comes out there. Oh, it just wants to plop right out. Look at that. Oh, that was easy. Hello. Okay, let's talk about this bread while it's cooling. This is called what we call a ciabatta bread. It should have a lot of holes in it and nooks and crannies for butter. It's still warm to the touch. But it feels great. I can. I feel like I can almost cut through it. I'm gonna do it. I waited long enough. I let it cool. Now I'm gonna cut a piece. My mouth's watering them all. Smacking my lips. All right, let's try this. Here we go. Just take a peek. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. That is amazing. Look at that. It needs butter. Totally needs butter. Grab a little butter. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Just the, the butter's just melting right above it. It's not even. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm going to try some of this. Look at it. Look at gush, gush. <laughs> that looks amazing. Wow. You can still see the steam coming off this. Look at that. It's so warm and buttery right now. Okay, before I try this, I just want to tell you, this is Lazy Man's Bread. It took 60 seconds to make. It looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. And we're going to try it right now. It's going to be burning hot. I don't care. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. It's completely singed the inside of my mouth, but I don't care. Buttery, 
crunchy on the outside, warm, soft bread on the inside. My mouth is watering like crazy. This is awesome. Try it out. Send me pictures. All right, so it looks something like this. Enjoy, and I will see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. Bye-bye.